is terrifying. And it keeps coming back. But it is a dream. Your unconscious trying to send a message to your conscious mind. But what message? That something has to go to work very hard to find out. And if you don't, I cannot help you. Not nearly as much as I want to. You've helped me so much. Until you came along, I, I couldn't let anyone touch me. Now I, I can touch you. And I can let myself be touched. Dr. Peter Milne and Sarah Kendall are on a journey together, traveling into the subconscious, a place where shadows of the past are just around the corner, and their darkest fears wait beyond the next door. Whenever I can't be with you, I feel frightened, but then... When I'm with you, I know that nothing bad can happen to me. That horrible dream. Seems so far away now. Maybe it's gone forever. I told you, Sarah. There's no way the dream will go away. Until you sort out how you really felt about your father. I know how I felt. Do you? Why do you keep asking that? Why do you do you keep talking about the, the murderous feelings I might have had for my father? I loved my father. Then how come you've only had your problems since your father died? Because I miss him, because he's not here anymore to protect me. I'm here. Oh, God. I wish that I didn't have to share you with other people.
always know what you're talking about, Dr. Mill. This does not always last. The patient will miss the appointment and his general cooperation will be some difficult. These illustrations are a mere hint, but enough has been said today on this complicated and fascinating study of behavioral. Thank you very much. did yourself a lot of good today. Of course. <laughs> I admire self-confidence. That's um, one of the reasons I decided to support you. Oh, uh, one uh, small word of advice. You've got yourself a good, clear shot at the presidency now, and the clearer the shot, the more enemies. So, no mistakes, Peter. It's made of one be. Dr. Fisher? When do I get another interview? I gave you an afternoon. It's not enough. I need to find out why you, of all people, should be qualified to lead the psychiatrists of this region. Now look, Miss Carter. I know you have a reputation for blackening the name of the people you write about. Only if they deserve it, Doctor. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I meant to wait till you were free, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. I need you so much. Oh, please help me. Help me. Sarah. Oh, yeah, no. I, I wanted to wait to my appointment, but I meant to. Sarah. Come with me, please. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Another. I, I'm okay now. Do as I tell you. Better? I'm such an idiot. I didn't mean to embarrass you, but it's been getting so much worse the last couple of nights. Still afraid to sleep? I sleep in my office then, the usual time. Improving your track record? What are you talking about? I'm talking about therapists who abuse the privilege of trust. 
I think you know damn well what I mean by your track record. What I know, Miss Carter, is that you dig up dirt wherever you can find it. And if you can't find it, you make it up. Oh? Did I make up the charges that were brought against you in the Ethics Committee? Since you've uh, somehow been able to get hold of confidential information, you must also know that I was completely cleared by the committee. That would impress me a lot, Doctor, if it just happened once. I told you. I know. You were totally cleared both times. They believed you. Not the pathetic, confused women you might have taken advantage of. Now, look, That's Miss That's just what I plan to do. Look and listen a lot. I'm sure we'll be seeing some more of each other, Doctor. Yes, Dr. Fisher. Peter, that reporter I saw you talking to has been calling members of the selection committee. Is there a problem I should know about? Absolutely not. Better, better not be. You have my support, but that would change if charges could be proved. You understand? Yes. Sarah Kendall. The patient is becoming increasingly disturbed and highly suicidal. She speaks of taking her life. And yet, she just called to say she no longer needs analysis and will not return to the clinic. I am concerned, but there is nothing I can do. Close the file on this patient. What are you doing here? I don't know what's happening to me. I... I want to get better, but I... I can't. I've done what I can. But you're not responding to treatment. 
I think we should give it up. No. No, please. I want to keep trying. I've got to. Go to another therapist, then. No. No, it's you I need. I need you. All right, Sarah. There might be a way. You need courage and strength. A lot of strength. It's your only chance to get well. You think you're strong enough? Go alone tonight to the station. Take the 11 p.m. westbound train. Face your nightmare. You must do it. Peter Millen was willing to betray the secrets of a sacred trust for the pettiness of his own ambition. But what he didn't count on was when you lure someone to the edge of darkness, there's always the chance that you'll be the one to fall.